Stephen Franklin says nothing is wrong with unmarried women. I know some of y'all saw the clip, but if you did not, I got oh, it here for this, you. This shit they, here. Yeah. I know. Is this my clip? In verse 22, oh, okay. this is the yeah. creation of the woman, Eve. But you don't hear Eve coming into the earth saying, where's my man? <laughs> huh? Am I reading it right? It says the man said, Eve came into the earth. Watch this. Adam was the one who was broken. Eve came into the earth whole. She had both ribs. Society wants women to believe you're broken if you're not with somebody. But God says the woman came into the earth complete, not seeking or needing anyone or anything. I don't know who I'm talking to today. But you got to stand in your power. You are one of one. There's nothing wrong with you if you're not with somebody. You as a woman are complete. You're whole. Ah, and I got to say it because I'm tired of us supporting a culture that tries to make women think there's something wrong with them if they're not married. It's just not true. Cut this at all. Mr. Lango, oh, man. Have a oh man, <laughs> you know that congregation is full of unmarried women. You know that's no, a fact. My, yo, a whole bunch of I, fat, listen, unmarried. Listen, I can't. I gotta, I gotta go mama. first. I, I gotta go first. Okay. This this is like black pastors in general have failed the black community, bro. And this is the example of that. Outright, outright. If I was a man in that church, I'd I'd have got up and walked the fuck out. Did it, like. It's not so I, I've seen women interpret this a lot of different ways. And one of the things that I want, uh, especially people in the clergy or, you know, pastors to understand is you better be careful how you phrase things. If you understand how black women are going to interpret it, they heard what you said. They didn't take it as a statement of the way you said it. It, it was just another. I don't need a man. I can maintain this level of un uncooperation. This level of man hating that I have because nothing is wrong with me. You better be careful how you phrase things to women. You, he even said, not needing anyone. You idiot. The the most vulnerable group of people in the world are women and children. If unless the only thing that would stop for men is procreation, because we can survive in a group by ourselves. So women literally need men to survive. So he literally just, if, if the culture was ever taking two steps forward, he just sent it 10 steps back. But, uh, man, get in on this at will. Anybody, what do you got to say? All right, I'll, I'll go. I see um, why nigga left his ass. Kiki Palmer and this idiot Devon Franklin need to uh, get together and, 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 and go uh, in a ditch. I can't stand these two idiots. So when you look at Devon Franklin and then you look at Kiki Palmer, it's the same shit. And sadly, white America, just like we was talking about how white people aren't culture vultures, we get paid from the white people to, to dance like slaves. Well, these dumbass people like uh, Devon Franklin and, and, and uh, Kiki Palmer are hey. paid specifically to poison our women. She does it from her side and he does it from his side. He does it at a pool pit and she does it on social media. These idiots are incentivized by white people to keep our women dysfunctional. Black women are most likely the, because you know, I want to get into the statistic match. They are the leading uh, um, from an economic standpoint. Who is, what is that noise? Okay. From an economic standpoint, they are on top when it comes to like the stupid shit that they buy, the amount of hair and all this dumb shit. So white America needs black women as stupid as possible so they can keep buying stupid shit in order to make themselves feel good and stay single because married women, guess what? They don't Fuel the economy. Married women ain't buying all these hair weaves and all this dumb shit. They're sitting their asses at home. They ain't spending no money because their husband won't let them. So white America literally needs 
black women to say single and stupid. And people like Devon Franklin and goddamn Kiki Palmer are pawns by white people to keep black women single, stupid, and having father's babies. I so, hate these people. So, uh, MLG, that was all bars, but I just got one question. Why the hell are you saying Devon Franklin like that? Like that? <laughs> that should get on my know. nerves. What is his name? Devon, that ain't David. Devon, Devon Franklin. Devon. Devon Brown. Like, God damn. Corn, his name is Cornball made, Franklin. Made sound blue. God damn. His name is Cornball right. Franklin. Anybody else got anything on this? Devin Franklin says nothing is record. Go ahead. For the record. Um, so I'll go ahead. For the record, uh Mr. Lego Ali said you full of shit. Because you flip uh, oh. so, so for the record, I do agree with Mr. Lego partially on this. I believe that it is a ploy to grab money. And I believe a lot of pastors do that. So I'm not really gonna focus on that. I'm gonna focus on the message. And I honestly do believe that there are a lot of unmarried women. There's nothing wrong with them. They just have not found somebody that is a good match for them. Um, instead of them being willing to go outside of their hometown, they stay local and they miss their opportunity to find somebody that's good for them. That's a good and match they're for fat them. and keep spitting out followers. Yeah, but most of America's fat. So they probably won't even care about that. Just, Most Americans don't are spit out father's babies like where they are, I believe. So okay, Mr. Lego, you can you can add your point, sir. I'm just saying they're fat and spitting out father's babies. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Continue uh fantasy. That's it. Oh, okay. All right. All right. See, so I, I would say I don't, this. I don't hail fans. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Lego. Hold on, Mr. Lego. Hold on, Mr. Lego. You know, I held it down. So I, I, I say this joint. Um, to me, he's giving off like Derek Jackson vibes right now, and I yep. can't wait till he get caught with a side chick. All he's doing is patronizing, right? Um, his lame ass ain't single. got one chick. For, for men, he ain't got one chick. He's lame. Well, whatever. He when he get married, he's going. I don't anymore. care. I don't care what he is. I don't care what he, he is. Getting married. He, he, he's getting married. lame and getting married. So, and that's the whole thing. That's a that's another thing. I don't take marital advice from single people because single people keep people single. That's just what it is. So we're, we're not we're not doing that people? anyway. No, nah, he's full of shit. Worse because they've been married. They've been there before. He, he is a divorced person. Them, right? <laughs> he is a divorced person. Exactly. Worse. Is and it's the island girl person. has a worse. Point. No, worse. that's not oh, worse. worse. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the fourth person has, worse. has has no. lived more than a, a married person. No, no, well, he, no, well, he you, just no you failed. Well, you failed. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, a difference. Oh, no, no, teaching is failure. Sir. No. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 wait. There's a difference you can't between teach a unless you failed at something. There's a difference oh, yeah. between. Okay, bet. So, so you. Slow down, sir. So let me ask you this: you got, you got two, you got two choices, right? You have a dude who's a multimillionaire, and then you have a dude. Who was a multimillionaire and lost it? Which one are you taking advice from? Actually, both of them. Answer honestly. I'm gonna ask. No, both I said of them. which one. The question was which one, not both. That's not one of the Actually, answers. The one that lost it because I'm gonna oh, be oh, like, yeah, what the okay, hell and happened? then you're gonna lose yours too, okay. and then you're gonna lose yours too. Okay, okay. Well, that's disingenuous. Let me ask, let me ask I don't your question. You. Can I? Ask All right, one mic, you? one mic. Can I ask your question? See, y'all wanna sure you can ask the damn question and then don't want to hear the answer. The reason why is because the multimillionaire, I can find another multimillionaire to ask, but a multimillionaire, I mean, or, or a person that lost it, that's a good ass story. I want to hear that story because that person has a story that I can't hear from anywhere okay, else. Okay, bet. 